Daniel Larson is a controversial internet figure to say the least, with him making many unhinged threats, PDF statements, and even being arrested by the FBI for his misdeeds. What is unknown, however, by the community as a whole is just who are Daniel Larson's family members and where are they? Abandoning Daniel in his formative years for his supposed abuse towards his family as a literal child, or was it the other way around? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a look into the disturbing lore of Daniel Larson's family. To begin, we should talk about his birthing figure, Elizabeth Scheimer, the mother of Daniel Larson. Elizabeth Lee Avery Scheimer, born October 21st, year unknown, however, it can be assumed she is around 50 years old. She is the ex-lover of Travis Larson, Daniel's father, adoptive daughter of Nancy Scheimer, and most notably the mother of Daniel Larson and his late siblings, Joyetta and Olivia Larson. Daniel's father, who we will get into later, has remained a rather unpopular figure in the Daniel Larson community, and the same can be said for Elizabeth. She has also remained consistently disliked and unpopular, and has been regarded as such even by Daniel himself. Elizabeth has been accused of being neglectful and abusive, which is questionably true, although somewhat substantiated due to the fact that Daniel was relocated to the Tennyson Center during his childhood. Despite this fact, Elizabeth accused Daniel of being physically assaulted by her during his childhood and was even substantiated by Daniel being arrested for assaulting his sickly and wheelchair-ridden mother when he was 18. Despite these mutual accusations of abuse, Elizabeth's behavior seemed to have rubbed on to Daniel during his childhood as, much like Elizabeth, he too has an interest in music with him releasing bangers such as Something More and Roaring Thunder. There are also extremely horrific and, more importantly, unconfirmed claims of Elizabeth sexually assaulting Daniel when he was a young child, which may have kicked off his pedophilia. This claim comes from a question Daniel asked on his Quora page, with the question being, has your mother ever given you a hand job as a kid, as well as a testimony from a person claiming to be a caretaker of Daniel's, claiming Daniel had a history of childhood sexual abuse, both to him and by him, although it's called the question as to what this means exactly. However, it is probably unlikely given Elizabeth becoming paralyzed and Daniel's history of physically assaulting his mother. Nonetheless, after Nancy's, Daniel's grandmother's death, Elizabeth wished to keep absolutely no contact with Daniel, presumably having put a restraining order on him along with Travis. This is most likely due to the physical assault she had endured, although the claim of this restraining order on him has yet to be confirmed. Not much is known about Elizabeth's early life, but from what can be gathered, Elizabeth is the adoptive daughter of Nancy Scheimer, who had presumably adopted her through connections from her job as a social worker. Elizabeth was adopted prior to Nancy's divorce, although her relationship with Nancy's husband and biological children is unknown. While unconfirmed, Elizabeth herself most likely suffers from the same mental disabilities as Daniel, or is at least somewhat mentally challenged. These claims come from her appearance, which is generally not seen in able-bodied individuals, and disabilities such as autism having very high heritability rates. Then, in 1990, Elizabeth enrolled in the Young People's Institutes of Art and Academics, where she graduated in 1993. From 1995 to 2004, Elizabeth enrolled in Antelope Valley College, graduating in music and performing arts. Not long after enrolling in Antelope Valley College, Elizabeth would meet Travis Larson, who not long after would help conceive Daniel and would subsequently give birth to him on November 15, 1998. Then, later on in March 27, 2001, Elizabeth would conceive children with Travis once more, this time being twins. She'd soon give birth to Daniel's siblings, twin girls Joyette and Olivia Larson, 
Sadly, however, they would pass away the following day due to an RH incompatibility. Elizabeth would move to Colorado in 2009 when Daniel was 11, and according to YouTube comments, her reasoning for moving to Colorado was due to the mental and physical health support which both her and Daniel would need, as Elizabeth was in a wheelchair at this time, though not long after she would have no custody over him as Daniel would begin living in the Tennyson Center. While the reason stated for Daniel being taken away was due to neglect and abuse, it is unconfirmed as to what Elizabeth or Travis did to him. Daniel has stated that his mother couldn't take care of him anymore and given the fact that at this time Elizabeth was disabled and in a wheelchair, it is very likely that her disability impacted her ability to care for him, resulting in neglect. Even so, it is hard to tell what is true about Elizabeth and what is not, due to Daniel constantly going back and forth on whether he was abused or not. This seems likely as in 2010, Travis and Elizabeth had parted ways and according to one of Elizabeth's Facebook posts, this occurred after Travis told Elizabeth to stay away from Daniel as he'd never get better, and with this absence it likely added an, an extra factor of difficulty parenting Daniel. Then, with her new husband, James Avey, who she'd get engaged to on January 1st, 2011, she would co-own their business, Avey Incubator Inc., in 2010 which would sell animal incubators. Something that is interesting to note about Elizabeth is her affinity for singing, which most likely influenced Daniel to pursue a career in singing. On her YouTube account, she would upload several videos of her singing, with the most infamous being tributes to various people, namely Daniel. One of these videos was directed towards Daniel, where she sang, I won't give up, which was posted on the 28th of September 2014. On Elizabeth's Twitter account, she would frequently post about going into the music studio to work on her original songs, although these claims of having a music career and having fans are obviously untrue, given her a lack of interaction to any of her posts. Then, some time after Daniel was adopted by Nancy, Elizabeth was soon given access to see him once more, though the exact date is unknown. She has also made a tribute video to Joyetta and Olivia, wherein she sang angels, sharing various pictures of them after birth. Elizabeth shows an intense love for both of these children, although by the time the video had been posted it had been well over a decade after their births, presumably showing more love for them than Daniel. Since Elizabeth was roughly 20 years old, she had been diagnosed with an aggressive form of lupus, an incurable genetic autoimmune disease found predominantly in women which caused her to have multiple health-related issues, and while Travis lives a happy life with his new wife and children, the same can't be said for her. As of March 10th, 2010, Elizabeth has been put on chemotherapy and immunosuppressants due to her lupus, which eventually left her wheelchair-bound, and in 2015 would go into partial assisted living where her health would continue to deteriorate further, which is evidenced by her posting on Facebook about her being in and out of the hospital on a daily basis. Then, on February 8, 2016, Elizabeth would post on Facebook that she is paralyzed from the breastbone down, causing her to be in a wheelchair permanently, which would prove to not be a positive within the coming years, as on November 6, 2017, Elizabeth Scheimer, paralyzed and in a wheelchair, was suddenly and deliberately struck by a then 18-year-old Daniel. Due to this altercation, the authorities were called, which resulted in Daniel Larson's first ever arrest, and afterward, Daniel would be placed under police custody and would be subsequently sentenced to 45 days in jail for assaulting his mother, just 9 days before his 19th birthday. James Travis Larson is the father of Daniel Larson, ex-lover of Elizabeth Scheimer and son-in-law of Nancy Scheimer. Not much is known about Travis's involvement in Daniel's life, making him the most unpopular out of his parents. However, based on an interview with him, it can be assumed that the relationship between the two deteriorated long before he was an adult. 
Just like Elizabeth, there was also extremely tenuous claims of Travis abusing Daniel, with Daniel even claiming that Travis made him smoke cigars at a young age. Though, like many of Daniel's other claims, this should be taken with a grain of salt due to him being an unreliable narrator. Suffice to say, Travis officially distanced himself from Daniel and his mother long ago, wishing to be left alone. It is also worth noting that Travis is a supposed sex ed addict, as Elizabeth would describe Travis as a person whom is so obsessed in sex that he can't even care about people's feelings. However, the validity of these claims is questionable. After leaving his first family, Travis started up with another unknown woman giving birth to Daniel's half-sister, Aurora Larson. As of 2024, Travis has no contact with Daniel and advises anyone who comes in across him to call the police and report him. Travis Larson was born in September 1978 in Lancaster, California to James Ted Harvey and Joanne Beverly Lloyd, who would get married on September 28, 1963, in Nevada. He currently lives in Lancaster, California, which is him and Daniel's hometown. Just like Elizabeth, it is speculated that Travis suffers from some sort of mental and or physical disability that passed on to Daniel. This can be assumed from Travis's appearance, in addition to his children even after leaving Elizabeth, which are traits generally not seen in able-bodied individuals. However, until further information comes out, this is unknown. In 2010, Travis would leave Elizabeth not long after Daniel was taken away by his social services. According to the post made on Elizabeth's Facebook account, it can be inferred that his reason for leaving Elizabeth had something to do with him not being able to put up with Daniel's behavioral issues. Additionally, in a text message to Daniel, Travis states, I am not your grandma. I will not lie to you or accept bullcrap. I tell you the way it is, which reaffirms the claims of Daniel's grandmother Nancy enabling his problematic behavior. Then, Travis would start up a new family with an unknown woman to which he had at least one daughter, Aurora Larson, with his new partner. In November 2022, Larson Leak, a YouTube channel dedicated to leaking information about Daniel, uploaded a video where he briefly interviews Travis, though he quickly gets angry and hangs up on him. Aurora Larson is Daniel's paternal half-sister. Little is known about her or her relationship with Daniel. However, it can be assumed that she too has no contact with Daniel at all, nor if she even knows about him at all. However, the one thing that can be confirmed, as revealed by Larson Leak, is that Aurora had been arrested for crimes that are unknown as seen in this mugshot. Nancy Jean Scheimer was the maternal grandmother and legal guardian of Daniel Larson, adoptive mother of Elizabeth Scheimer, mother of Sarah and Rachel Scheimer, ex-wife of Daniel William Scheimer, and ex-mother-in-law of Travis Larson. Nancy was one of the most important figures in Daniel's life. She moved from her hometown in California to Colorado to accompany Daniel during his stay at the Tennyson Center taking guardianship of him to prevent him from being moved into a foster home after being removed from his mother's care by social services. Despite kinder treatments of Daniel, she was known to have enabled his bad habits and allegedly Daniel was said to have physically abused her when he didn't get his way. Nancy Scheimer passed away in Oakland, California on July 24th, 2019 at 72 years of age to cancer. Even after being informed of her death, Daniel did not even bother to see his grandmother on her deathbed. Her funeral service was held at the Mountain View Cemetery, Tower Chapel in Piedmont Avenue, Oakland. It is assumed that Daniel either did not attend or was not invited. After her death, Daniel would repeatedly mock Nancy's memory by stating that his grandmother had put a curse on him, saying that his autism had caused her to die, and being everything Nancy did not want him to be. Nancy was born in Michigan to parents Ramza Seri Kaylee, an elementary school teacher, and Celine Sam Essa Kiswindi, 
a grocery store manager and accountant. On April 2nd, 1947, her father served in World War II and was noted to have witnessed the murder of a man at the hands of an amputee driving an automobile via hit and run. Nancy was the youngest of three children. She had two siblings, Kara Ann McGuire and David Kiswini. Most of Nancy's childhood is unknown. According to a comment left on an obituary by her older sister, Nancy's family lived across the street from the Venetis family on Berkshire in Detroit. Her family were good friends with the other family, and the couple who lived across the street, Elsie Ann Venetis and Jim Venetis, were always kind to the children. Their parents, Ramza and Celine, were good friends with the family and liked them very much. During her teenage years, Nancy attended Gross Point High School. At 17, she was placed onto her high school's honor roll. After high school, she attended Michigan State University, which she graduated from in 1969 with a bachelor's degree in arts and a minor in humanities. In 1966, Nancy was a bridesmaid for her sister, Carol's wedding. Nancy would go on to plan a wedding in 1968, possibly inspired by her sisters. Nancy married Daniel William Scheimer, an electrical engineer, on November 28, 1970. They had their wedding reception at the Gross Point Garden Center and Ledning Library. Afterward, they had two biological daughters, Sarah and Rachel, and eventually one adopted daughter, Elizabeth Scheimer. According to Daniel Larson, Nancy worked in social services with her job requiring her to relocate infants put up for adoption. During one of these relocations, Nancy stumbled upon Elizabeth while she was still an infant, to which she was adopted. It is unknown what relationship Elizabeth had with Nancy's biological children, much less what Nancy's relationship with her husband was, especially given their divorce on September 1st, 2005. However, it can be assumed that it was less than positive. Following her adoption of Elizabeth, she moved from Michigan to California, where she took care of Elizabeth and her other children. Then, Nancy and her husband eventually divorced on September 1st, 2005. It is unclear if this was the date they truly divorced though. There is also a record of them divorcing on January 30th, 1984. It is possible they remarried, but confirmation on the matter is inconclusive. When Daniel Larson, her grandson, was about 11 years old, he was removed from his mother's care due to him allegedly being neglected. After Daniel was taken from her daughter's care, a custody battle involving Daniel's mother and Nancy began. Information on this is sparse, but according to Daniel, Nancy's main argument for him not to be in his father's care was because he, quote, didn't even know his father. Regardless of the validity of this statement, it raises many questions about what their relationship was like before Travis and Elizabeth broke things off. It is possible that Nancy was a case manager for Daniel or at least took on that role during Daniel's stay within his foster homes and under her guardianship. In the end, Nancy gained custody of Daniel and eventually became Daniel's legal guardian. Afterward, Nancy would take him out to the, of the Tennyson Center's housing program and would be moved to just schooling. In December 2012, local Colorado news channel KWGN reported on the Tennyson Center featuring a 14-year-old Daniel and his grandmother. Nancy speaks on how Daniel was a very angry child before she gained custody of him and was now on the path to improvement. Daniel would continue to live with Nancy after this. Then, on July 24, 2019, Nancy Scheimer passed away at the age of 72 due to cancer. The type of cancer she had is unknown. While Nancy was passing away, Daniel was invited to the hospice center where Nancy stayed in her last moments. Instead of seeing her, however, Daniel would instead choose to attend a Special Olympics game he was participating in to show that he was a fighter. Daniel would not attend her funeral, with it being unknown if this was due to him not wanting to go or because of him not being invited. Nancy's funeral service was held at the Mountain View Cemetery Tower Chapel. Daniel William Scheimer is the ex-husband of Nancy Scheimer, grandfather of Daniel and father of Elizabeth, Sarah and Rachel Scheimer. According to his obituary, he was born in Merced, California and was raised on a dairy farm near Chowchilla, California. 
He attended the University of Berkeley and received BSEE and MSEE degrees, both being electrical engineering degrees. He worked for the next 49 years as an electrical engineer. He and Nancy married on November 28, 1970, although not much is known about their relationship beyond them giving birth to two biological children, Sarah and Rachel Scheimer. It can be assumed that their relationship was less than optimal as the couple divorced on September 1, 2005. Daniel died on September 4, 24, 2015 due to lung cancer. According to his obituary, he smoked heavily for many years, which may have contributed to his eventual death. There was no service for his death, per his request, and his body was cremated. Despite being divorced by over a decade by that point, Nancy Scheimer would comment her condolences on his online obituary on October 3, 2015. Considering how both Daniel's grandfather and him have the same name, it is likely that Elizabeth made the decision to name her son after him. After Travis and Elizabeth split up, Travis went on to start a family with an unknown woman. While the existence of Daniel's paternal half-sister Aurora exists, it is unknown who the rest of the family are, Travis's relationship with them, or if Daniel knows any of them. However, Daniel may potentially have another half-sibling as there is a woman who may possibly be Travis's daughter as seen in this photo. Daniel's father is noted to have begun a relationship with an unknown woman some years after leaving Daniel's mother, making her Daniel's stepmother. Nothing more is known about her besides several pictures of her that have surfaced, and the knowledge that her and Travis conceived Daniel's half-sister, Aurora Larson. James Avey is the husband of Elizabeth Scheimer and stepfather of Daniel. He and Elizabeth married on January 1, 2011 a measly year after Elizabeth and Travis split up. He is also the founder of AV Incubator Inc., a company that incubates small animals such as puppies. According to photos found from his childhood, James attended Daniel's 13th birthday party, which indicates that they had some sort of relationship, with not much else being known besides that. Sarah Ann Scheimer and Rachel Scheimer Lal are the biological children of Daniel William Scheimer and Nancy Scheimer as well as the half-sisters of Elizabeth Scheimer, making them Daniel's aunts. Rachel is known to work as a pediatric occupational therapist in San Ramon, California. Rachel is also married, giving birth to Daniel's cousins Anna and Alila Scheimer Al. Sarah's existence is shrouded in mystery. Their relationships with Elizabeth is also unknown. Carol Ann McGuire is the older sister of Nancy Scheimer, making her Daniel's great aunt. In 1966, Carol married to a man named William Hamilton McGuire. Nancy acted as her bridesmaid and her brother David Kiswini acted as her husband's best man. Following Nancy's death, she left a comment on her sister's obituary. David Kiswini is the older brother of Nancy Scheimer, making him Daniel's great uncle. Not much is known about him besides a comment he left on Dan Nancy's obituary. It is worth noting that David never mentions Elizabeth. Despite mentioning Nancy's biological children, Noah Zane Kiswini, born November 20th, 1990, is the child of David Kiswini, Nancy Scheimer's older brother, and Desiree Schwalbe, his mother. This makes him Daniel's, albeit late, great cousin. According to his obituary, Noah was a very generous person. He was noted to have gathered a group of his friends to eat lunch with his middle school custodian so he wouldn't have to eat alone as well as helping a woman who'd have fallen. It seems Noah Zane Kiswini passed away on July 5th, 2022 at the age of 31. He chose to end his life voluntarily, potentially due to assisted suicide or euthanasia, and in a final act of compassion, he became an organ donor, hoping to help others through his donation. However, this is what can only be gathered from his rather vague obituary. Daniel's aunt, Rachel Scheimer, is known to have given birth to his younger cousins, Anna and Layla Scheimer-Lal. Nothing more is known about them.